Hi everyone and welcome back uh, to the Floss Marketing School. In this uh, video I'm going to talk about uh, Matomo and LDAP. So first of all let's define what LDAP is about. Um, so you probably already found out uh, the definition on your own. Uh, it stands for Lightweight Directory Access Protocol. I think the first thing that you need to uh, understand is that LDAP is a feature for or at least feature a software or a technology which is used uh, by a system administrator. Okay, so if uh, you are using Matomo in order to just do analytics, probably you will never have to look into uh, LDAP at all. So the typical use case in order to use LDAP is the following one is that uh, you have a big organization. In this organization, you have many different users and you want to give an access to those thousands of uh, users without uh, creating uh, one credential, uh, one access for each of them within Matomo and you want to use an existing uh, directory, so an existing database uh, because this is what LDAP is about. LDAP is about a kind of database which is acting as a directory, for example, such as the yellow pages, in which you have uh, your uh, people, employees, uh, machines, organized under uh, uh, a hierarchical system and the idea is to get uh, easy and fast access to any entry of this uh, directory so, so to say that that's really convenient if uh, you want um, some employees to get uh, direct access to Matomo without uh, creating them any access because you already have created them within a database name LDAP. For the sake of this tutorial, what I did is that I use an LDAP technology named Open LDAP, which is an open source uh, software which allows you to deploy um, um, an LDAP server on your uh, own uh, computer. It's uh, straightforward in order to install it. You just need to run sudo apt install slash pd ldap utils and then uh, you just need to uh, launch sudo dpkg reconfigure slash pd in order to start. Uh, the configuration uh, here I let uh, my consider in fact you, you're going to have several questions which are going to be asked to you and in my case I gave you the answer that I uh, put over here so um, all of this process here is in order to create uh, the LDAP server and once you have your LDAP server uh, what you can do is that you can ask to your um, to your LDAP server what's in your uh, directory so in my case, if I just uh, if I just go back on my on my home, it looks like this, and that I run my um, my query. So this query is here in order to request to your LDAP server what's in your organization. And here, typically, it's telling me, okay, you have. Um, uh, several people within your organization. So you get John, you get Lucy, and you get uh, Gerald as well. So, in fact, when you write your um, your directory, you just enter the different um, entries like this. When you specify, for example, uh, who is who, what is uh, here or function within the, the company, what's your name, first name, family name, uh, credential, password, and so on and so forth. In fact, each of your employee as a different entry that, uh, that you write on your own. Uh, just to let you know, I was a bit scared about understanding what LDAP is about and if you get the right course. So for example, in my case, I attended this course and then I attended to another course explaining what, what is LDAP. I think in, in one day, uh, you can get the big picture without be being a, a technician at all. And um, so what I did uh, over here is that um, I created, in fact, the, the different entries uh, within LDAP. And now, thanks to the plugin of uh, Matomo named LDAP, I can, in fact, link my LDAP database to uh, the Matomo's configuration. So um, here, oops, what I did is that I went on the uh, plugin marketplace of Matomo and I install a plugin which is named LDAP. So you have several plugins named LDAP within uh, within Matomo. One is the one developed by Matomo and the other one developed by a community member. Uh, so I installed the one of Matomo um, and when uh, you install and activate it, you have here the LDAP settings. So you don't have nothing to, to, to do over here. It's just about uh, testing if 
the LDAP is working though you are here at the bottom to enter those data so in my case uh, server is the name of my server localhost is the loca uh, location of my server uh, LDAP server here is the port used uh, here is the uh, the name of my organization within LDAP those are uh, the, the credential in order to access to the database and here is the password in order to access to the database so I have to fill in all those data in and then if you want to check if uh, it works correctly uh, what you need to do is that you need to copy these parts out if of course uh, you name your, your database like this and then you need to take this part in my case like this in order to check if if it works okay so i'm just gonna test it like this so here it's telling me that there is four users uh within my uh, within my database and in fact um what i did is that i synchronized before creating those uh two people that you can see that you can see here so here there's one person and there's one other uh, below and they are not yet synchronized here with uh, the matomo database because as you can see uh, the name of Gerald of Rivier is not uh, appearing over here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you uh, how that works. How can I synchronize, in fact, my LDAP over here with uh, this uh, given database? Because that's mainly what this plugin is doing. It's like taking all your users within your LDAP database and synchronizing them with uh, Matomo. And then I'm going to go um, over here and I'm going to use uh, this part. Okay, so this part is the command line that you need to launch within Metamo in order to make the pass between uh, your LDAP database and the one of, of Metamo. So uh, I'm going to access my Metamo. Oops, so it's uh, over tap, uh, HTML. It's Met. Like this okay. So here I get the console, so I can run, I can run these parts. Okay, and now it tells me that uh, it has synchronized four users. So normally I should see the name of Gerald of Rivia appearing uh, over here. Okay, you see it just appeared. Um, so that that's what LDAP is about, at least for uh, the plugin developed by uh, by the Matomo team so it allows you to take all the data from the LDAP database and then import them within our I mean synchronizing them with the one of Matomo so as you can imagine that's really great for organization with thousands of people but you can go uh, far deeper uh, in fact uh, I didn't succeed to make this plugin work it has been developed by a community member but what you could typically do is in fact thanks to the LDAP database enter a lot of characteristic about each of uh, your employee and then use the LDAP database in order to synchronize them so here it clearly shows how you can uh, synchronize it with a custom variable and then get in fact the, the name of the people appearing directly within the, the visit log uh, not sure that you can go that far but I guess that you can get of course their age uh, their gender, uh, the position that they occupy within the, the company and then use those data in order to create segments and uh, as you can see, as you can imagine on internet it can be like super powerful because it can uh, clearly uh, show you in fact all the data dealing with the users within within your internet and then make uh, uh, awesome uh, data analysis. Thanks for watching.